Congratulations on your purchase of a high quality Reveal product. As breakthroughs such as Windows and multimedia lead us to new worlds of computing power, users like you refuse to be left behind. You've discovered you have the power to transform your PC into the ultimate machine for your specific needs. Providing you with the most advanced products and support is the world leader in upgrade technology, Reveal. Reveal offers a wide range of products including multimedia kits that transform your PC into a powerhouse of sight and sound using the latest in CD and audio technology. CD-ROM drives that let you access audio-visual CD programs for business, education, and entertainment, and come with popular titles. Hard drives which expand your PC's storage capacity and make it run fast. Co-processors that let you finish your work up to 12 times quicker. Memory upgrades that speed up your PC for Windows and graphics programs, or let your printer use more fonts. Handheld scanners that allow you to place text, photographs, and artwork into the documents of your choice. Tape backups for ultimate protection of the invaluable data on your hard drive. The sound effects family of sound cards, which give you all the amazing audio effects on today's programs and let you record your own soundtracks. Video cards for brilliant colors and Windows acceleration. Surge protection products that put the power controls to your entire system in a convenient desktop panel. Fax modems and modems so you can send and receive faxes or exchange huge amounts of data by phone worldwide. Data entry devices such as trackballs, mice and keyboards with the standard clicker or tactile touch. Plus many other exciting products. And Reveal makes them all easy to install. Check out the entire line soon. This video gives you a general overview of your installation procedure. However, it's important that you read through the installation section of your reveal manual thoroughly before you begin. It may contain new or updated information not covered here. For example, the following situations are covered in your reveal manual. Number one, if your Reveal sound card has several connectors for the CD-ROM drive's data cable, the installation guide shows you which one to use. Number two, there may be special switches that need to be set on your Reveal sound card. And number three, if you use the included plastic rails to mount your CD-ROM drive, you may need to connect a grounding wire. Ah, hello there. Welcome to Reveal's installation video. You're about to discover that you don't have to be a trained technician to install your Reveal product yourself. It's so easy that the only tool you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver. And thanks to the simple format of this video, you'll finish your installation quickly. Now, here's how it works. I'll be installing the same equipment you are in a typical computer. After every few steps, I'll ask you to pause the video so you can work on your own installation. That way you'll be finished in no time. While you're working, keep in mind that the contents of this video can also be found in the manual that came with your Reveal product. Don't hesitate to use it if you need to. Keep a copy of your computer owner's manual handy too. You may need to refer to it from time to time. Okay folks, let's begin. Start by turning off the power to your computer, your monitor, and any other peripherals you have. Then touch one of the screws on the back of your computer to discharge yourself of static electricity. Do this often during your installation to protect your computer's sensitive circuits. Next, disconnect all peripherals from your computer and remove them from your work area. And most important of all, unplug your computer's power cord. The next step is to find the screws that hold your computer's outer cover. Your owner's manual can help you. Remove the screws with your Phillips screwdriver. Then slide the cover off. Be careful not to snag any of the cables inside. Once your cover is removed, you need to be careful with your computer. Many of the chips and components inside are sensitive. Besides discharging yourself, there's a few simple guidelines you should follow to protect your computer while you're working. First, 
Never touch any of the chips and other electronics on the main circuit board of your computer or on the smaller circuit boards known as cards. However, you will handle at least one card during your installation, your reveal card. To handle it correctly, hold it by the edges like this. But keep your new components in their protective anti-static bags for now. Finally, your computer may have a metal support bar in it like this. Make sure that the cables you'll be plugging in during your installation stay under this bar. Then they won't get pinched when you slide your cover back on. Now that you know how to work in your computer, let's get back to your installation. Your next move is to locate your expansion slots. You'll be plugging a card into one of them later. The expansion slots on this computer are right here. Notice how they're on a card. There are two kinds of expansion slots, the long 16-bit ones and the shorter 8-bitters. These here are all 16-bit. Each slot in a computer has a corresponding access slot in the chassis. The access slots are usually covered by removable plates, like these. Now, expansion slots aren't always on cards. On many computers, they're found right on the main circuit board. Ah, beautiful example. And this computer also has the shorter 8-bit slots. We'll stop here so you can open your computer and locate its expansion slots. Also, use your owner's manual to determine which of your slots are 16-bit and which are 8-bit. But first, let's review some important points. Remember to unplug all power cables and cords before opening your computer. Make sure you discharge yourself of static electricity frequently during your installation and be careful while sliding your cover off to avoid snagging any cables. Ah, you're back. Got that cover off okay? Find those expansion slots? All right then. Now let's see where you're going to mount your CD-ROM. It's designed to fit into any one of the five and a quarter inch mounting bays in the front of your computer, right here. Before you decide which bay to mount your drive in, make sure there's a matching opening for the bay in your computer's cover. The opening will probably be blocked by a plate, which is either removed with screws or simply snapped out. Now, on this computer, there's another plate we need to remove. It's called a blanking port. It's covering the entrance to the bay we're going to use. You might have one too. Some blanking ports are attached with screws, which you simply remove. But others, like this one, are held on with solder joints. You just tap on the joints with a screwdriver handle and flex the blanking port until it comes free. The next step is to carefully remove your CD-ROM drive from its bag and set it on a clean surface. Then check your owner's manual for special instructions on drive installations. For example, the manual may tell you to attach metal or plastic rails to your drive. Reveal includes a set of plastic rails with your CD-ROM. If you're required to use metal rails, they should be pre-installed in your bay. This computer doesn't require rails, but if yours does, the procedure goes something like this. First, if you're using metal rails, take out the retaining screws and take the rails out. Then, whether you're installing the metal or plastic rails, align them so the drive will extend the same distance from the bay as your floppy drive. Attach the metal or plastic rails to your CD-ROM using two of the screws that came with it for each rail. Then line up the rails with the grooves inside the bay and slide the drive in. The plastic rails usually just latch into place, but the metal rails often need to be screwed to the bay. And that's all there is to rail installations. If your computer doesn't use rails, like this one here, the procedure is a bit different. First, you may need to temporarily remove the vertical bays on either side of the horizontal bays. This will let you access the mounting holes in your drive's bay. There they are, here and here. Next you carefully slide the drive into its bay and align the front so it's flush with your floppy drive. Then choose your mounting screws 
your drive comes with two types, regular and spacer. This computer requires that the spacer type be used because the bay is slightly wider than the drive. Place two of the mounting screws through the holes in each side of the bay and screw them into the threaded holes in your drive. Then, if you remove them earlier, replace the vertical bays along with their mounting screws. After your drive is mounted, locate one of the available power connectors that lead from the power supply. You may find different sizes. Choose one that matches the large four-pin connector on the rear of your CD-ROM. Then plug the connector into your drive. You'll find that it's keyed to only go in one way. Ready to work on yours? Well, let's go over a few brief reminders first. Make sure the mounting bay you decide to use has a matching opening in your computer's cover. Use your owner's manual to see if metal or plastic rails are required. And remember to align the front of your CD-ROM so it's flush with the front of your floppy drive. Wow, you're moving right along. All right. In this section, you'll learn how to connect your sound effects card. It's really quite simple. You begin by choosing an available expansion slot. If the bottom edge of your sound effects card is divided into two sections, you'll need a 16-bit slot. If the edge is not divided, you can use an 8-bit slot. Oh, and by the way, if you have an 8-bit card but no 8-bit slot available, you can use a 16-bit slot. Okay now, for the next step. Undo the screw that holds the cover plate on the expansion slot's access slot. Then remove the plate and take your sound effects card out of its bag, touching it only by the edges. Next, place the card over the expansion slot so its mounting bracket end is facing the access slot. Then gently plug the card in until it's firmly seated in the slot. Your computer may have a special holder on the end of the access slot. If so, Make sure the mounting bracket slips into the holder when you plug in the card. Then, use the screw you remove to attach the card's mounting bracket to the chassis. Now, pick up the wide data cable that came with your CD-ROM. Plug one end of the cable into the 40-pin connector at the rear of your drive. Your cable may be keyed to plug in only one way. If it's not, Make sure the cable's colored stripe is facing pin number one, which is marked clearly on your drive. Next, take the connector on the other end of the cable and plug it in to the 40-pin connector on the card. Make sure the colored stripe on the cable is facing pin number one, which is marked on the card. Then, pick up your CD-ROM's audio cable. Plug one end into the rear of your CD-ROM and the other end into the matching connector on the card. This cable is keyed to only plug in one way. It's as simple as it looks. I'll take a break here so you can catch up. Oh, and don't forget the simple guidelines we went over earlier for working in your computer. Here they are again. Remember not to touch chips and other electronic components. Handle circuit board cards only by the edges and keep your cables under your computer's support bar. Welcome back. I'm double checking all of my connections, making sure everything is plugged in correctly and firmly seated. Take a moment to check your own work too. When you're sure everything is perfect, you're ready to replace your computer's cover. Just slide it on, being careful not to snag any of the cables inside, and gently slip the front of the cover over your drives. Next, replace the screws that hold the cover. Replace your keyboard and monitor and reconnect your external cables and power cords. If you also have speakers and a microphone, use the included instructions to install them. And that's about it. All that's left is to load the system software. Just follow the simple steps in your manual. Congratulations on your purchase and installation of a Reveal Multimedia product. Goodbye now, and enjoy your multimedia computer.